In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert cubic centimeters into cubic meters. So in this example problem, we have 500,000 cubic centimeters. Whenever you have cubic units, be it cubic centimeters, cubic feet, cubic inches, cubic meters, all of these are units of volume. So we're converting from one unit of volume to another unit of volume. But how do we change it from cubic centimeters to cubic meters? Well, for one thing, we need to know that one meter has the same length as 100 centimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with what we're given, which is 500 cubic centimeters. And then we're going to convert that into meters using the conversion factor that we have here. Now, there's two parts to that equation. We have one meter on one side and 100 centimeters on the other side. Should we put the 100 centimeters on top of the second fraction or on the bottom of the second fraction? What would you say? What would you place it? Now notice that we have units of centimeters on the top left. In order for that unit to cancel, we need to put centimeters on the bottom. So therefore, we're going to put 100 centimeters on the bottom of the second fraction, but we're going to put one meter on top of the first fraction. Now you might be wondering, what does it mean when we have centimeters cubed? How is that different from centimeters? Centimeters cubed mean that we have three units of centimeters being multiplied to each other. Right now, only one will cancel, and we'll still have two more. In order to cancel all three of the centimeter units on the top left, what we need to do is we need to raise this conversion factor to the third power. If we do that, note what's going to happen. So what's one meter to the third power? If you multiply one meter by one meter by one meter, you're going to get one cubic meter. Now, 100 centimeters to the third power, that's 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters, which is 100 to the third power, that's a million. So this is going to be a million cubic centimeters. So now we could cancel the unit cubic centimeters. So it's 500,000 divided by a million, which is 0.5 cubic meters. So that's how we can convert from cubic centimeters to cubic meters. By the way, 1 million is equal to 10 to the 6, because there are six zeros here. Another way in which you can see that is you can replace 100 with 10 squared. 10 squared is 100. And so when you have 10 squared raised to the third power, you can multiply the exponents 2 and 3 and so you could write this as 10 to the 6 cubic centimeters if you don't want to write out a million. Now let's work on another example. Let's say we have 2.4 times 10 to the 8 cubic centimeters and we want to change that into cubic meters. So feel free to pause the video and try this example problem based on what we did in the last problem. So let's begin with what we're given. Now, based on the last problem, we know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. I'm going to write it as 10 squared centimeters. And then just like the last problem, we're going to raise it to the third power. So this becomes one cubic meter. And then 10 squared raised to the third power, that's going to be 10 to the 6 cubic centimeters. So at this point, we could cancel the unit cubic centimeters, and then we could divide 10 to the 8 by 10 to the 6. When you divide by a common base, in this case base 10, you need to subtract the exponents. So subtracting 8 by 6 gives us 2. Thus, the answer is going to be 2.4 times 10 to the second power cubic meters. 
So now you know how to convert the volume from cubic centimeters to cubic meters. So that's basically it for this video. Hopefully it really helped you to see how to convert from one unit of volume into another unit. The key is to cube the conversion factor. If you do that, then that's going to help you to get the right answer.